CCM Tax AS560 will be the first CCM skates that will ever test and try for you on my channel. But they are not the first CCM skates I ever tried. Those are the 25 years old CCM Super Tax 552 from my father that I really tested on the ice and I have to say it really like the performance of CCM skates but that's an old model. So today I'm going to find out how an actual model of CCM skates feels right after the intro. Let's start right into it with the specs and the basics about the CCM Tex AS560. This skate, as CCM writes, is made for recreational skaters, for hobby skaters and for hobby ice hockey players. We have a 3D injected quarter package that goes around the skates. It looks pretty worthy, it feels pretty worthy and stiff and it looks great. On the inside of the skate we have a microfiber liner with an ergonomic boot shaping system for a better comfort and if I feel inside, yes, this memory form feels pretty comfortable. It also keeps the form of my finger a little bit if I give pressure inside, so I think it will keep the form, the natural form of your foot pretty well. Also, we have a textured finish for a better durability, a standard CCM footbed and a standard CCM toe cap. Behind the laces, you will find a 7mm two-piece felt tongue with some extra protection form in front to, of course, protect you from puck hits and from lace bites. They are delivered by T-Blade with a black holder, black runners, metal gold stabilizers and a metal gold clip which gives it overall pretty, pretty good look. It's available in the width of R only, so if you have a wide foot you should go for some EE models. This skate costs at T-Blade 264.99, but with my code Alpine Ice Freestyle 15, I write it down below, till Sunday midnight you can get this skate for 225.25 euros, so you will save 40 bucks for this skate. So don't lose any time and if it's worth your money to get this CCM Super Tax AS560, yeah, I'm going to find it out now at my hometown ice rink. See you there. All right, here we are. Let's put them on. What I have to say, what I noticed already at home, those skates are tight and now we have finally real laces and not just those cheap laces power delivers with the skates but they are a little bit short so I have to unlace it for two holes to get into this skate comfortably and the first feel I have even without laces is that this skate is pretty pretty tight whoever likes it tight should go for this skate who doesn't want it too tight and is always thinking about two sizes of skates I definitely recommend to go for the bigger size so I have a 10 this skate fits good as a 10 but if I would be between 10 and 11 then I would definitely go for the 11 now let's get this skate laced up of course I have to go through the extra holes I left out first Ooh, I can see this is all I have left from the full lace. Not waxed laces as always, but and that's one thing I have with my pretty long laces. No lace leftovers, I don't have to tight them anywhere. Now standing, giving some weight into the skate. Of course I can feel the width of R, it's a regular width in this skate but still it's comfortable it's tight nothing else to say here let's test this one on the ice
All right, first feel absolutely lightweight. It's like wearing a sock. Tight, yes, it is tight. Comfortable, not comfortable. Hard to tell what is because of the R, what is because the skate is pretty tight, but support, control, absolutely there. My ankle is locked, my foot is not slipping. I have the absolute control, of course. But as always, when you have a new skate, you always need to get used to it. And kind of this feeling I have here a little bit more. So let's give this skate the first test. This is a lightweight skate, so I guess footwork will be easy. Let's try it. So footwork, the performance, this precision, this everything, I'm absolutely amazed by this skate, I have to say. This is like my friend who's holding camera just said to me, it looks cleaner than your footwork in your own skates. So this skate definitely is a great footwork skate without any doubts. But now let's go for some more power, some more speed with some line breaks. Let's go. Okay, this skate, lightweight, it's fast and the precision, the power that goes from your legs through the skate right into the ice. Wow. All right, power brakes work. Now let's go for some precision brakes. Oh, <laughs> this skate is amazing. Right, guys those were the precision breaks now let's go for my favorite discipline ground touches let's do this guys overall opinion about the CCM AS 560 on ice review this skate is great it's an entry-level skate but it's absolutely different than the entry-level skates of Bauer for example are it has more stiffness it's it, the skate just feels absolutely powerful especially for footwork freestylers it gives you space where you need the space okay probably because the laces are a little bit loose at the moment but it also gives you the precision and the power wherever you need it and even supports my close to 100 kilo in nearly every freestyle footwork or freestyle overall motion. So this skate for me works totally fine, even if we are, as I said, at the beginner or intermediate skater range of skates. So for this price point, this skate just delivers a great performance. So for freestyle beginners, it's a great choice. For footwork freestylers, it's a great choice. But overall, you won't do anything wrong in this price category of this skate. I guess there aren't many skates that perform better. That's it for today, guys. Give it a thumbs up for the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe because there will be and there are already many more skate reviews on my channel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram to check out my merch. Link down below. Greetings from my hometown ice rink. See ya!